Awesome. Hi, welcome to another 12 p.m. tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to teach you how to use Skype, a popular instant messaging and voice over IP program, along with GPASS in order to access the internet securely. GPASS is a free tool that will use a SOX tunnel through Skype in order to protect your identity while you browse information online and also allow you to access content that might normally be blocked in your area. The installation of GPASS is pretty easy. All you have to do is download it. Let's do that now. Open up a web browser and go to www.gpass1.com. Take a look around the GPASS site if you want, and when you're ready to continue, click the button that says Download. On the Downloads page, select the green link after GPASS 4.1.0 that says EXE File, and save that file to your computer. Now we need to get Skype. If you don't already have Skype, go to www.skype.com. Run your mouse over Get Skype, and then select Windows. Scroll down this page a little bit and click on the button that says Download Now. If you don't have a Skype account already, fill in this information and click I Agree Continue at the bottom. If you do have an account, click the Sign In tab and sign into your account. I'm going to do that now. A download window will pop up on the next page and allow you to save the install file to your computer. Now I'm going to close these windows and go to where my file is downloaded. First I'm going to move the GPASS file onto my desktop and then I'm going to double click the Skype setup file to start the installation process. Here you can choose your language and then select I agree, install, and continue the installation. Follow along with what you see me doing in order to complete the installation. Now that Skype is finished installing, it is going to ask me to sign in. I'm going to enter my user information and click Sign In. This is Skype's user interface, but we don't have to worry about that for the tutorial, so I'm going to minimize it. Now double click the GPASS icon to launch the program. This is the GPASS user interface. Under Tunnel Status, you will see that all the options are grayed out. Reports from the web indicate that GPASS servers have not worked for people since 2008, so it will not connect no matter how long you wait. But that's okay, because GPASS built in other ways for you to use the program in order to access the web securely. Click on Options. Under the General Options, I'm going to check these two boxes for added security. Now click on the Tunnels tab. Here you will see options for GPASS, Skype, Tor, and SOX 5. Click on the option for Skype and read the information that pops up. This will tell you that you have to allow GPASS to use Skype. However, you don't have to do anything with the newest version of Skype because it will pop up a window and ask you to allow GPASS to use Skype. Here's that window. Go ahead and click Allow Access. Under Tunnel Status, you should now see the words Encrypt Channel via Skype. Once the gray bar below that says Ready, then you can securely access the internet through GPASS. 
Double click the browser you want to use and it will open up and automatically connect to internetfreedom.org. While this page loads, I'm going to show you something. First, I'm going to open up an unencrypted web browser. Now, I'm going to go to www.checkip.org. The number you see here is my unencrypted IP address. That means that I am viewing the web through an unsecured browser and anybody can see what I'm looking at. Now I'm going to close that window and go back to the encrypted browser. I'm going to go back to www.checkip.org. The number you see here is different than the last one. This is my encrypted IP address, meaning that nobody will know that it is me looking at information on the web. Okay, I'm going to minimize this window. I minimized GPASS, but I want to bring it back up. In the lower right hand corner of your screen, you'll see a miniature version of the GPASS icon. Click on this icon and it will open a menu. Click on Show GPASS Window to bring the user interface back up. That menu will also allow you to launch the applications and also exit GPASS. To exit GPASS, simply click the exit button. Now you know how to use GPASS with Skype.